Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be playing with the e.l.f. XI Hot Revolution palette again. So this is the um, Ninny Muggins palette. I have done like a full review tutorial using this palette, but I wanted to use it again um, just because like I've only used it, well actually I've used it twice, but I didn't film the second time that I'd used it, but I wanted to use it again. Um, I actually did a Christmas look with it um so i wanted to use it again um so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing today and i'm also gonna be using the other lip gloss which i haven't actually used yet which is like the more nudie brown shades i want to use that shade and i have got the highlighter again which i'll probably use again um might not use it on camera but you guys if you've seen my first video you'll you guys will know my thoughts on the highlighter and pretty much the collection but i just wanted to play with it again and um, so i thought i'd sit down and film it so yeah we are just gonna dive straight on into it okay guys i have just primed my lids and zoomed you guys in and um, i'm gonna take this green shade here first i did use this in my first look however i want to use it again um so i'm gonna take that shade I already know that this shade is so pigmented. Like, look at it. It's so good. I do want the other palettes, but I'm like, I don't need them. I need the money right now because we might be moving soon. So I'm like, I need to save my pennies. So palettes just like, I don't need it. I don't need it. So I'm doing like one of these looks again. I did one of these looks for a Beauty Bay palette and I just, I, I really liked it. I really enjoyed the shape of it. So I thought, you know what, we will do it again for this look because I'm just feeling it. I'm gonna blend it out with the blue shade. I didn't actually use the blue shade in my first look. I went in with the yellow to blend out this shade. So I thought, you know what, we'll go in with the blue this time. I feel like you could do like a really pretty pastel look with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly cut my crease. I might just like keep filming and then just like speed through it. But I'm just going to use my trusty P. Louise base. This is pretty much this. This is pretty much the only like thing that I'll use to cut my crease at the minute. So I just I really like it. Okay guys, I am back. Ignore the edges because I want to clean them up, but this is what we've got going right now. This is the cut crease on. So for the lid shade, oh, I really want to take this purple shade. Like I used it on my inner corner. Do you think that that would work? Like that all over the lid. Oh, I really want to use it. Um, but I don't know if it's going to work well, but I really just wish they would. Which is this shade here. I'm basically just going to use these, this, like this quad here, basically. Um, so I'm going to try and pop it on with a brush. If not, it might have to be like a finger. It might have to be a finger. It's a weird kind of shade. It's quite like hard in the pan. 
I wonder if a different brush would work. It's working a bit better, isn't it? It is working, it is popping the shade on. I don't know whether it's like the best shade to kind of use. It's like, it is showing up. Maybe it's only need to go in with a bit of this shade. So this shade is this one right here might pop a little bit of that on and then pop some of that other shade on top kind of like use it as a bit of a top shade maybe i'm just gonna go all over the lid with this shade just see if it kind of like will work That's a nice shade, isn't it? And then I'm gonna go back on top with that first shade that we tried to use. Like maybe that has to be more of like a topper shade. still quite cute though isn't it i don't hate i don't hate it i just wish that that other shade was like a bit more pigmented to be honest with you um but it's fine we will we will stick with this shade i mean it is like that that shade with that other shade on top is really nice still like it's still got the purpley reflex which is what i wanted so yeah, we're going to stick to that. And then I'm going to go in with the white shade on the inner corner. And also on the brow bone as well. And then I'm just going to go back into that blue matte shade just to like own over. The high, like the brow bone shade, just because it's a bit, it's a bit harsh. You know, what? I'm, I'm not actually mad. I'm not mad. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and do this off camera, do my base and everything, and then it will come back and I will try the other lip shade. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. I've literally just done the rest of my base and my lashes and everything. So yeah, I'm gonna move on to the lips. I'm gonna use the more nudie shade. Um, I don't think I'm gonna line my lips. I think last time I lined my lips, I don't think I'm going to now. I think I'm just gonna go straight on in with it. This is in the shade Candy Corn. Um, so the first shade that I used, I think it was can like in the first video I used, can yeah, I used Candy. And I did explain that these are a lot more like, like these two shades are more like a lip cream. I wouldn't say they're like a gloss. Um, the first shade, which is called Syrup, I think. Syrup, that is definitely a gloss. But these two shades are definitely not a gloss. Like, I would say they're like a lip cream. Hmm. I didn't actually like try this shade on first time, I just swatched it. But I quite like that shade actually. You could line your lips if you wanted to, I don't really think you need to with these shades because they're quite pigmented. 
they feel so nice as well like they feel so good um, I'm gonna pop a little bit of the gloss on top so the syrup gloss just a little bit not too much I love so pretty so pretty so guys this is the finished look what do you guys think I love it I was a bit like worried about the lid shade however I do really like this look I think it's so cute Um, so yeah I'm really impressed with the palette I think that it is ugh, it's a dream to work with like honestly it is um, I did also on the lower lash line just going with the green, the blue, and then I did put a little bit of the purple just on the bottom, if you can kind of see. I feel like it works better on being on top of something else or as like an inner corner, like, or like brow bone kind of shade, because I did use it in my first look as an inner corner shade. So, yeah. Second time using the palette, I really like, well, actually third time third time using the palette the second look that I did I have done it is for a Christmas look which you guys will see in December so yeah but I did use like the brownie shades and I can say that they they did perform amazingly when I used it that time and um, but I definitely wanted to do more of like I don't know just a colorful look again Um, I really want to use the browns with this green shade if you guys want me to do another look using this palette, because there's a lot of colour combos you can do in this. If you want me to do another look using this palette and like using the browns like in a video, let me know because I can totally do that for you guys and I kind of want to. Like I want to use the browns with like a green on the lid. Like I think I think that would be beautiful. Um but yeah, this is it for today's video guys. Love the products. I use the highlighter as well. I love the highlighter. I love the palette. I love the the lip trio. I think the lip trio is beautiful. Um. So yeah, second time, well, like third time using the palette. I haven't got any complaints. I love it. I think it's beautiful. So yeah, the, that is it for today's video. Everything else that I'm wearing on my face, I'll of course, link in the description box down below as always. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.